What is up everybody, this is Kyle from the TF Review, here with a video review of the Masters of the Universe Classics, Vicron. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoy this review. So, here we have the packaging for Vicron. As you can see, it is in this line standard white mailer box with the Masters of the Universe Classics logo right in the middle. Of course, it does say Vicron. And down here in the corner, it mentions based on the original He-Man Trio prototypes. And then, of course, Adult Collector down there in the corner. Now, I'll get into that a little bit later. On the back, of course, nothing too spectacular. You do have the 30th anniversary logo for the Masters of the Universe. And, of course, you've got all your standard safety requirements. Now, let's open this up real fast. And let's take a look at that toy's actual packaging. So, here we have the packaging for Vicron, and what makes this packaging unique is that right at the center, highlighted, is the Barbarian figure. Now, when Mattel officially launches this figure, you're either going to have the Military Man or the Space Man located at the center of the packaging. So, it's not too different from what you would expect from the main release, but for those people who collect mint in packaging, they definitely want to get this uh, San Diego Comic-Con version. Now, as you can see, it does say Vicron. The Ultimate Eternian Champion, three interchangeable armors, adult collector, of course. Let's flip this packaging over. Now you can see he's got a uh, quite a wild bio. And now I don't usually read bios uh, that often, but in the case of Vicron, this story is just absolutely ridiculous, and I have to read it to you guys. Um, real name Vicron. Fifty years before Prince Adam was born, Vicron, the warrior, fought in the gladiatorial arena of Lord Cholo, ruler of the Vine Jungle. Learning from each defeated opponent, he became a master of many combat techniques and weapons. As much a champion as a showman, he would often dress up in outlandish garb to rouse the crowd and show off his skills. In his final match, he fought against the great Gygor. Before a cheering crowd, the evil fighting gorilla ripped Vicron's body in half, at long last defeating the arena champion. Following this match, Gygor claimed not only the arena championship, but a rule of the jungle itself, forcing Cholo to abdicate his throne. In life, Vicron was the greatest of Cholo's gladiatorial warriors, fighting in any environment at any time. So, there you go for that. Quite some imagination uh, these guys have. Um, now in the back, you can see it, it does display Vicron with all three of his armors. And then, of course, it does show off other figures. The Faceless One, the Goddess, Beast Man, Merman, Wondar, and Zodak. Um, so, very cool. Now let's open up this figure. And let's take a look at Vicron in his barbarian mode. Now before I get into talking about Vicron with each of his armors, let me explain to you the backstory of Vicron. Basically, in the early, early concept stages of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Mattel, they were looking for some creative inspiration, so they did a bit of kit bashing with some Boba Fett toys, some military model kits, and thus they created the concept for the Spaceman, the Barbarian, and the Military Man. But yeah, let's take a look at the Barbarian. Here we have Vicron the Barbarian. Now, Vicron the Barbarian has an awesome sculpt with a lot of brand new pieces that have never been seen before. First, we can see that he has some really great paint apps. The silver metallic paint just really shines. He does have some spots of red, some blue, and overall it just works very well. Now obviously this is the toy that later became He-Man, but on its own it does stand up fairly well. Now we turn him around we can see he's got this fur back and this is just awesomely awesomely sculpted. It is some kind of a rubber. It's attached to his chest plate. So when you do take off his chest plate it's all one piece unfortunately. Um, it would have been cool if they were able to make these two pieces because I can imagine a number of places that this back piece would look awesome on on various figures. He's also got these new gauntlet designs. His head sculpt is also brand new which looks awesome. Now Barbarian Vicron does come with one weapon. He does come with this double bladed battle axe. Slightly darker silver with this really cool uh, spiral design. And he does have some detailing on the blades themselves. Now, Vicron can hold this uh, axe quite easily in one hand. 
Or if you want to, you can get some double wielding uh, poses with them. Not too difficult. And now he's holding them with both hands. Again, that's really nice. Uh, for articulation, let's just remove his axe. His arms can move in and out. Bend at the elbow. Rotate at the wrist. He's got an ab crunch. His head does have a full range of motion. Legs can move side to side, in and out. Bend at the knee. And he does have um, an ankle joint, which is really good for posing. Now let's take off this armor and let's see him in his spacesuit mode. Now there are a lot of pieces in this spacesuit mode. First we're going to start off with his head. Obviously this head was inspired by Boba Fett when they were doing the early designs. Um, and now the head sculpt does have this uh, sort of Punisher looking groove which makes um, removable hairs much easier. You just slide his head on like that and you are good to go. Next we want to add this chest piece. Um, which is kind of difficult to put on, but not anything too, uh, too ridiculous. Uh, you just gotta do a little bit of stretching. There you go. Now we've got his, um, shoulder pad things on. Next, this belt piece. Now, I'm having some serious problems with this belt piece, and it's apparently a lot of other people are. When you connect them like this, it's not very difficult to do when you're not attached to the figure but when you actually do put it on the figure it just becomes impossible it's just such a bizarre piece but luckily there is something that can fix it now this waist piece does have two grooves right there they do groove into these two slots uh, which holds the belt in uh, just fine there you go now twist them around again we can try again to see if it'll stick but um yeah it's not happening Luckily, he's got this giant jetpack, which you can just plug onto the back. And you can take his waist piece and just hide it back here. And the jetpack does hold it in place. So you don't really lose any detail. You don't lose that sort of formed shape. And that's just really nice. Now for his shin guards, you'll notice they're marked right and left. This is from Vicron's perspective, not yours. So you're going to want to put the right piece on the left leg and he's able to stand just fine he does lose some articulation um, and then now lastly you just want to put these uh, wrist guards onto him and he has uh, this gun which he can hold on to quite nicely which is kind of a rubbery material uh, but he does hold on to it just fine and you can get some pretty cool looking poses I really like the way his face sculpt looks with his mask. He just looks so angry. It's awesome. Now for articulation with the face armor on, you can move his arms in and out. You can't really move them back because of the wings even though they are rubbery. Uh, again, elbow articulation, wrist swivel. Um, you do lose a bit of his ab crunch. Legs move in and out, bend at the knee, and you do lose his um, ankle. Uh, pivots. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for Spaceman Vicron. Uh, again, some nice gold detail bits. And yeah, he does have some battle damage. And uh, that's it. Now let's take a look at Military Man Vicron. Now to put the military armor onto Vicron, basically what you need to do is you need to pop off his head. You can then put his chest piece on. You want to turn them around. Now this piece fits on much easier than the uh, the spacesuit piece. Um, I haven't really had any problems with this one. Just slides right in. You're good. Now you can put his head on, which is a brand new head sculpt, which looks awesome, by the way. Again, if the leg is marked R, you got to put it on his left leg. As you can see, R. It fits on this side. Again, do the same to this side. And now all you have left are his gauntlets. Just slide them right over his existing ones. And there you go. You now have Military Man Vicron. Oops. Military Man Vicron. Now, Military Man Vicron does come with this uh, machine gun. Just put it in his hands. 
And I actually like the way that he looks with the space gun too. So you can slide that in his hand too. And now he is packing some serious heat. And he just looks absolutely fantastic. I love the detailing. I love the gold, the military green, the accentuated battle damage, which is all over. And this head sculpt, which looks insane. I would not mind seeing a uh, full release of just this figure. You know, of course, adding some new details, maybe even some new uh, sculpts. Instead of just making it uh, attachable body armor. And he looks fantastic. Now on the back, not a lot of detail. Again, as you can see, there are some massive gaps where his uh, shins are. And then just some, you know, minimal battle damage and minimal detailing on the back. For articulation, his arms move in and out, can rotate all the way around, bend at the biceps, his wrists can still swivel, legs move forward and back. He does sort of retain the ab crunch a tad. Um, legs move in and out, bend at the knee, and there is no more uh, feet articulation. That is just completely gone. And overall, I really, really enjoy the way Military Man looks. So, that's all there is to say about Military Man. Here are my thoughts overall. So, if you're one of those collectors that loves creating new characters, inter-swapping parts, you're definitely going to want to pick up Vicron when Mattel launches him officially. You've got so many parts, you can just create, mix and match, do whatever. But if you're not, which I'm personally not, I would have rather seen just it being a three-pack and paying the extra price for the original, for the other figures because now I am stuck with lots of extra parts and they'll get lost. I know for a fact they'll get lost. And while I was at San Diego Comic-Con, I did see people buying three, four of these sets. Um, so it would have just benefited a lot more people to make this a three-pack and charge, you know, $50, $60 for the set. Overall, I do enjoy it. I'm going to be displaying Vicron in his military man mode because that just looks unbelievably epic. And yeah, that's it for this review of Masters of the Universe Classic San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Vicron. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at the TF Review. And I've got one more epic San Diego Comic-Con review, which may just have to be a six-parter. Thanks for watching. Bye.